In this how-to video, we're going to be taking a look at generating image assets in Photoshop. So here on my site, uh, I have these oversized um, headers here at the top of each page that have this fun little uh, parallax scrolling effect. And I actually had to make these pretty tall. Uh, I discovered that on uh, very large monitors running at extremely high resolutions, uh, sometimes uh, they would get close to being clipped off at the size that I had them, the height that I had them at originally. So I made them really tall to ensure that that definitely would not happen. Uh, now let's take a look at that file. So I have this uh, PSD here called headers, and I'm going to open this up. And here I have individual folders for each of the uh, images. And you can see, again, I made them really tall to ensure that they would you would never see the bottom. You, it would never get yeah, to that point, uh, no matter how big of a monitor or how high resolution you, you got. So now you'll notice that each of these folders is named, um, you know, something specific, uh, header-home.jpg, and then header about.jpg. The reason is, instead of going in here, normally what I used to do uh, would be like, um, I would do a save for web, and then you know adjust the quality like 50%. I'd hit save, go to the next one, save for web, repeat the process over and over and over. Now imagine if you had like 20, 30, 40 different graphics and you've got to go through and do all that. That's ridiculous. There's no sense in uh, doing stuff like that manually when you can have Photoshop generate everything automatically for you. So. Uh, it doesn't matter if these are all showing or if they're deactivated like that. It, it doesn't matter. You can go under File and go to Generate and Image Assets. <clears throat> and let's go here. And there we go. Now, all of these have been automatically turned into JPEGs. Now, here's the thing that you might be wondering. What are the file sizes? Um, can you control the quality? Yes, you can. And by default, what I just did, they're all set to 100% for the quality. So they're going to be a little bit bigger than I prefer. So I want to go in there and make these 50% uh, of you know the quality setting. So I'm going to hit 5. And I'm just going to do that for each one of these. But let's say one of them, you, you wanted it to be 70%. Okay, then you hit a 7 instead of a 5. Uh, but again, in this case, I just want 50% for each one. Okay, cool. Now... This is checked, so the image assets is checked. So all I have to do is hit save on the keyboard or under file, hit save. And all of those assets have now been uh, updated. They're all 50% uh, quality. Now, if I go in here and make test.jpg, and I'm gonna fill this up with a color. Okay, and again, I, it doesn't need to be showing. You can hide it if you want. I'm going to go ahead on my keyboard and hit save. And we can go here, and there it is. And of course, that's at 100% quality. Uh, I could go here and say 50 and save. Uh, or I could go and make a PNG. Oops. I'm trying to do this through my tripod. Here we go. PNG. Uh, hit save. And that will be changed from a JPEG to a PNG. Now let me show you this on... So oh, let me actually get rid of that one. I don't want that. Save. Okay. And now that PNG is gone. Uh, let me show you that with this. Now this was the file that I uh, used to initially create um, the assets that are on my home page. And title and info, you can see this is a folder. And inside of this, uh, I have, there, I've got the, the name, um, the info underneath. And these will be JPEGs. Uh, this layer here, uh, that's my photo there. That's just going to be a, or I'm sorry, I think I said JPEGs. These are PNGs. There's my photo. That's just going to be a PNG. Uh, there's callouts. Uh, let's see, the gaming one. Uh, here's me floating. This is made up of a couple different layers. So that's set to me, underscore floating.png. Uh, this one, here I wanted that just 3ds.png. So you can apply this to 
uh, folders and uh, layers. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and say generate image assets. And there are all those items. So you could have, again, like I mentioned earlier, you know, 20, 30, 40 different things that you need to, you know, put onto a page and you've got them all in your uh, Photoshop file. And instead of going into each one and like extracting it, putting it into another uh, Photoshop file, uh, cropping it down, uh, doing all that crazy stuff manually, just generate all the assets. Just have this, uh, you know, have Photoshop do all of the work for you. And that's it.